Thank you so much for tuning in. You are watching 3T TV, Thika's number one online news channel, where we are telling the Thika story as it is. My name is Juliet Modoni, and today we are coming to you on location from Edgewood Country Place. This is a one-stop shop that is located in Maboromoko that is off Gatanga Road. They have some nice grounds where you can bring people for a photo shoot, a video shoot. Better yet, on a Sunday, you can bring your family for a family fun day. And for the corporates of, as well, you haven't been left out. They have conference facilities and you can also have team building in this same location. Be sure to check them out. So today I'm bringing you the health segment. And before we go on, uh, there's, there's a question that had been asked last time and we're going to start with that. So let's dive right into it. How are you doing? Hi dear, I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. Uh, for the sake of somebody who is watching for the first time, kindly yeah. introduce yourself and let us know what you do. Yeah. Um, namaste friends, uh, this is Dr. Neha Bhatt from An Health and Wellness Center. Thank you Dr. Bhatt. Now before we uh, proceed to today's topic, eh, there's a question that had been asked uh, last time when we made that natural green tea. There's a... Juice. Green juice, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody asked whether you can use dried leaves as opposed to the green vegetables that we had used. Oh, for the juice, yeah? Yes. Uh, okay, in case if you are not uh, able to get the green leaves or vegetables, you can use because there's no alternative. But uh, the green leaves... It has more chemical and nutrition in it rather than the dried one. The chemical nutrition completely change when it dries. So better you use the green in case if you don't have anything, you know, then substitution you can use it. Yeah. But the best option is the green. Green, yeah. Uh, what you can do is rather you can just uh, bring them in a bulk and you can uh, save them in your fridge or something like that. Refrigerator, so it can help you. Uh, like me also, I'll bring in a bulk, I buy them and then I keep in my fridge or some things, you know, you have already seen it from my garden. So it, it helps you like uh, at least for a week. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you for that clarification. <coughs> now, yeah. uh, we've been going through a pandemic and people have been falling ill or I think probably it's because people now have a lot of free time. So they are noticing that there's some ailments that they had. Eh? We'd like to find out how to deal with those ailments naturally. But before we go there, what are some of the reasons that uh, make people fall ill? Yeah, the good question actually you asked me. Actually, this is very important to know why we fall sick. So I will try and explain to you in a very simple language so that all out there they can understand. So basically there is actually eight important reasons we fall sick. Um, we can start with that first reason is trauma. Trauma is like two types. It's a physical and mental trauma. If I make you understand what is physical and mental trauma, it's let's say like, um, like a lady get pregnant. I'm giving you example. A lady get pregnant and she doesn't want to keep a child. So she go for the to get rid for from that child so the time she takes some medications in fact they go through some uh, procedures also uh, in that time those pills she's taking or the procedure she's going through and at the end when there is no way she can get rid of that child and at, at the end she has to take keep that child on that process during the birth of that child which you have already tried to abort and you know all those things when the child is taking birth and after that you will see the child is completely perfect physically and everything you will see but because of that medicines you intake and the procedures you gone through that child got that mental trauma whereby we have seen like an example of a down syndrome kids some autism says kids yeah those are the perfect example of this trauma this is mental trauma 
whereby we can talk about a CP child. Those child, uh, you can say like, you know, at the time of birth, when there is a lack of oxygen and there is some complications, then doctors, they used to have some, use some instrument to bring that baby out safely. That is a physical trauma. That CP child is an example of physical trauma. On the other way, if I explain to you, like you have seen an uh, example called paralysis patient. Yeah, Sometimes the BP goes too much up, like even 200, the count of that BP. And because of that uh, blood pressure, they got some uh, brain hemorrhage. Yeah, And due to that cause, they get paralyzed. So this is also a good example of physical and mental trauma. So this is the first reason how we got sick. If we go to the second reason, it is a chemical imbalance in our body. Like, uh, how will I explain to you, like uh, acid and alkaline imbalance in our body is a good example of chemical imbalance. 80% of people, they get sick because of acidic, acidic problems. 80% of us. And those acidic problems, you fall sick and you get rid of, you get over of these problems. But the alkalinic, you will only find 20% of people, those who are alkalinic. And that is the bad part of alkalinic problems. If you get sick, you get problem of that alkalinic chemical imbalance in your body. You, it is very hard to save you from those problems. Either people can just die with the, those problems. So this is the second uh, important role of chemical imbalance in your body that is why we always say you have to keep balance acid and incline in your body like uh, 80 percent of uh, left kidney it purifies our acid and 80 percent of right kidney purifies our alkaline so it's very important to balance our body with acid and incline another reason is infection i think infection we all know these days we have passed through from last two years the pandemic we are going through so the infection is viral bacterial and fungal so if i'll explain like in our uh, th uh, thymus gland whenever we get infected with any viral fungal viral or bacterial or fungal infection our thymus gland has all the accountability he he has he releases those cells which is called t cells let's not complicate we'll just go to the simple one yes. so those t, t cells they have all the accounts of your body when you got sick when you have that some anti, uh, antibody enter in your body you got sick so maybe first time you will take like a long time to get uh, um, cured. cured by that, that uh, viral infection or uh, fungal or bacterial but because you are that t cell in your thymus gland they have their records so next time with the same same infection you will get uh, cure we will take very less time to get cure because they have all that in their they have i mean they have that accountability they have all the accounts that what uh, anti uh, antibody has entered in your body and how you suffered so next time they know how to fight with those so that is what we call infection. Now we come to the inflammation, which is, uh, you can say it is a chronic inflammation, sometimes external injury or internal injuries. So um, uh, if, I, uh, if I want to give you example, the best example I can give you the snake, sometimes when the snake bites you, like Nairobi flies and bees, they bite you. So actually they leave some kind of chemical in your body. That is uh, inflammation. When you got that in your body so uh, because of inflammation also we get sick then we come to the autoimmune okay autoimmune uh, I think a lot of people these days it's our lifestyle we are suffering from autoimmune disease autoimmune means that because of your weak immunity your body is fighting against your immunity is fighting against your body so it's like in your family only you know we are fighting with each other yeah we are fighting against our family mm -hmm. so there is no one who can cure you because it's conflicts between you only so no one can from outside can come and you know cure you so this is 
autoimmunity work like that it's your body cells they fight against your body only mm -hmm. so that is the another reason next and important is the nutritional issue issues uh, but uh, nutritions in our body sometime you can say like uh, deficiency of uh, b12 folic acid thymine niacin those nutritions in our body they go down or sometimes it's overdue also when they go overdue that means uh, the example of bamboo spine the cam uh, the calcium in our body it goes higher so that's how also you feel uh, sick you fall sick and then it it uh, then next we come to the dg degeneration degeneration means uh, the you can say the example is like a fluid in our knee or a grease in our knee which or bones maybe they are they are degenerating so we are losing that bones we are losing that fluid in our knee so we fall sick because of that only uh last but not least is important is hereditary hereditary it's again it's our lifestyle disease um i'll give you example of like a newborn child a baby child sometimes doctors they declare that the child is a diabetic now there's a question you ask neither the father or the mother none of them they have sugar problem they have diabetic or maybe their forefathers they don't have so in therapies we don't believe there is no, we believe like there is nothing like hereditary like i have explained to you a, a new baby who born and the doctors declaring them it's he is a diabetic he or she but neither in here his his or her family no one has this kind of sugar problem then why but the reason behind is sometime maybe the father sperm has some problem maybe mother when the the child was in the womb she was not taking that nutrition or the essential the child needed it was not provided so that is why that deficiency came and then we are declaring that child is a diabetic mm. so this is a hereditary problem so us in this therapies natural therapies we don't believe in there is nothing like a hereditary this is all your lifestyle problem this is all your lifestyle disease so these are few many important that uh, why we fall sick actually mm -hmm. so these are the reasons wow those are very good pointers and also to note that there is nothing hereditary it says it's your lifestyle it's lifestyle you you believe in mm -hmm. so you've talked about uh, you know nutrition high or low and that is all your lifestyle yes so we should be careful and you know go the natural way yes that's what i'm telling you and everyone these days just go natural whatever you can take in take in your body naturally just take it naturally mm -hmm. because that is the that is the, those are the all all what you call means of all the chemicals nutritions and vitamins and everything you can get it naturally indirectly nothing uh, like if i will tell you the nutritional issue again it comes from your gut again same thing i'll repeat digestion if you if if you intake a lot of roughage in your food which will help you to digest the food and from there your body will observe all these nutritions otherwise no matters whatever substitute you take vitamins or whatever good food you take whatever good fruits even you take there's no value for that because nothing is digestion mm. yeah awesome thank you those are very good pointers now uh, seeing to it that we've talked about uh, what causes one to fall ill Now what uh, therapy naturally can we use to you know keep cure and balance some of these uh, things you've mentioned Okay to cure there's only two ways you can get cure of those things one is pathy and one is therapy When I I'm when I'm saying pathy pathy means allopathy naturopathy those home, homeopathy those are the pathy 
where you can take uh, help of to take care of this thing but again naturopathy allopathy they are putting something from outside in your body to cure your problem and actually allopathy which it's when they are giving you chemical or substitute or something they are actually suppressing your problem it is not dissolving from the roots whereby when i when i say therapies therapies means you can say yoga therapy you can say play therapy you can say healing therapy you can say natural uh, uh, neurotherapy those are the therapies but in therapy we are not giving you anything from outside to put in your body we are not giving you at all nothing in fact we are not even using an instrument to get cure but what happens sometimes like uh, when i've mentioned yoga therapy because of sometimes because of lack of knowledge lack of time yeah or uh, so many other possibilities you are not able to perform that yoga but when i come to the other therapies when i'm saying nerve science therapy neurotherapy what we do even a person who is completely rid of bad he cannot go anywhere we always go to them and on the bed only we give them a therapy we give them a therapy to the correspondence point of your organ which is being defected affected from that thing and we we provide a proper blood circulation and we give you that cure while using nothing only our hands some people they 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 feel you know it's kind of massage you are just pressing here and there but yes we are doing that but it's not a massage you are actually pressing for a, a particular time or seconds to stimulate that organ to provide a blood circulation and that is where why with the help of nothing natural things only we are helping you now you've been in this field for quite a while yeah we'd love you to give so that people can see that this practically actually happens without mentioning names you can give an example of uh, a situation that you've been able to turn around using therapy um actually um i have been giving therapies to people who are suffering from uh, back pain which is very normal these days since years and they have recovered after taking this therapy knee problem those where doctors have uh, advised them to go for the operation they have no other uh, way to recover but because of our therapy without using anything they have recovered and now they nowadays they are even walking in fact i have i have uh, treated a patient where a couple is really suffering from they are they have tried everything but they are not able to conceive they were actually crying for the babies and i have treated them some people who are really they bad they got they got they got the them. baby yeah they, they got, got the baby. baby yeah yeah okay. after how long trying everything you know all this medical ways they have tried but they were not succeeding for for those ones how long did the therapy take therapy it takes like it, it depends if you are actually going to listen to me from your diet till your you know lifestyle and everything it takes around 6 to 8 months sometimes if the situation is really bad it takes me be one year lot of uh, girls with the pcod period problems i have solved their problem without using anything but the promise is you have to follow what we are say gall bladder stone kidney stones like uh, in fact nowadays i am working with the ms patient patient which is multiple sclerosis mnd patient and many kind of cervical and this headache and migraine people these are basically all these are acidic acidic problem which i have explained to you chemical imbalance so we just balance chemical and uh, acid and alkaline in the body without using any instrument without using any medicine and they get cured mm. the problem with kenyans is that they will say 6 to 8 months is a lot of time and i think that it's also expensive 
it is expensive but the money you have spent doing all that test trying ivf icsi and leave alone everything the pain you are going to get when you have given up that you are not able to now do anything you are not able to succeed with all these things also scientific way and then you will feel that pain that you wanted a kid and then you don't have a kid i think this is the better way uh in india our our guru ji our our teachers the senior ones we have a few example of people who are suffering from eyesight they cannot see and they have been declared they are like they cannot see in their whole life and they have taken this therapies even for years and years 2 3 years and now very successfully they can see mm-hmm. so actually what happened when when you left with no other option when you know nothing can happen in your situation then only people remember us as a therapist then only they come to us that is in our mental you know that is our mentality we always wanted to go for the allopathy because we, that is very easy they give you some medicine you swallow and you feel like wow i'm good now but that is temporary i don't know why it is taking time to understand that 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 relief is temporary but what we are taking what we are doing it's yes it is time taking but you are removing something from your root cause but of course on the other hand you have to follow all the instructions of course you have to change your lifestyle if you are not doing if you wanted oh i have spent this much of money i'm doing this therapies now i'm okay now i'll do it no this is your body and you have to take care of your body you have to change your lifestyle because if you are suffering and these days we know how many things we are suffering from very many so if you will not take care every next second you can get any other accident so you cannot blame us yeah mm-hmm. i hear you i hear you now uh when we you spoke about trauma there's there's something that you mentioned that i'd like you to to clear you'll find that a child is born a newborn and the doctors probably declare he or she is diabetic or has a liver failure you know how can you how do you explain that how does that come about oh uh, okay it was like uh, when i've explained to you trauma which is physical trauma as well as mental trauma in physical trauma like cp child as i've explained to you sometime when the at the birth of child the lack of oxygen or uh, doctors maybe they are using some instrument so the trauma that child got it from those instrument that is a physical trauma that is why the child is cp child on the other hand mental under mon- mental trauma uh, when i've said a newborn child declared diabetic that is not because the mother or father side or the forefathers or the grandfathers they have sugar problem or diabetes no it is not every time it is not the always reason what happens sometimes is maybe there is some problem with the genes of father maybe mother has some deficiency of vitamins while she was pregnant maybe mother has that bad lifestyle while she was pregnant good example is alcohol these days even when ladies are pregnant they are not leaving alcohol they are always taking those alcohol so that time when you are pregnant you are not getting that effect you are feeling you are okay even you are taking alcohol you nothing is happening you are you are okay that's fine but the nutrition the proteins the child supposed to get it from your from you the child is not getting it properly and that is when with the deficiency of all those things maybe because of father maybe because of the mother and that is when that child she or he gets that mental trauma which is declaring a uh, diabetic or sometimes they are like a autism child sometime down syndrome child sometime you can say any any mental issue a mental issue that is a mental trauma physically the child is fit you will say the physically child is fit but somewhere you know 
he or she is suffering because of what you have done during the pregnancy. That's so we are saying that uh, when you're expectant, you should be extra cautious. You have to. That and is why we say always our forefathers even they say, our grand people they say, whenever you're pregnant, you're supposed to take care of yourself like best. You eat best. You know, these days we are conscious that we are not eating. Oh my God, we will put on. Wait, yes. Yeah, but everything will go after that. Yeah, so you eat. You have to take proper nutrition, vitamins and everything. Because you are not only one. That time you are giving that... that uh, You are carrying someone. You are giving that protein and nutrition to someone which is not even out. And all that thing they are taking you, they are taking from you. So if you are doing any mistake, probably you are not the one who is going to suffer. Suffer, but the child will suffer. Mm. Yeah. Okay. There is also another issue where you find probably a father is diabetic, the son is diabetic, the son gives birth to a child who is diabetic. You know, how do you explain that and that can that be corrected using therapy? Okay, with the allopathy they say like that, this is a generation to generation. But uh, in our therapies, of course, we can, we treat this, those kind of problems. But again, I'll come to that. Maybe there are lifestyle, your forefathers, your mother fathers and your family people, maybe their lifestyle are like that. Yeah. But by changing of your lifestyle, by changing of your diet style, you can, you can cure. And with the therapy, we are doing that. And it is happening. In this therapy, we can, in fact, we can just change your hormones also. Right now, I'm working with the patient to increase the height. Which is, if I'll say someone, they will say, seriously, it can be possible? Yes. As I've told you, we are not putting anything, antibody to your body. We are producing all that good hormones in your body. And we are trying to strong your bones. So, yeah, same is like this one. Awesome. It can be, it can be corrected using it therapy. It can be corrected using therapy. And you can get... Uh, success with that but of course you have to put efforts definitely yes. and be disciplined and you have to be very disciplined but well, that's true okay thank you so much it was a very uh, interactive and uh, a great learning session i don't know whether you have anything to add as you there's somebody who is watching would probably like to contact you for therapy you can say something and also give out a phone number so yes if you do believe in Ayurvedic therapies, you can always come to me. You can always contact me. Any kind of problem you are suffering with, any kind of disease, yes, with the therapies, with the Ayurvedic therapies, it is curable. And uh, you can contact me always on my Facebook, which is An Health and Wellness Center. And on my YouTube channel, you can reach me on Yadav Neha Bhatt. My contact number is 07378090000. Thank you so much. Thank you Dr. very much for your time. Most welcome. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Dr. Neha who is championing for therapy and going natural all the way. My name is Gillette Mudoni. I hope you have been able to learn a thing or two. Don't forget you are watching 3T TV, Thika's number one online news channel, where we are telling the Thika story as it is. Until next time, stay safe.